right, what's going on today, YouTube? Welcome back to your favorite cyclist YouTube channel. This week, we're talking about how to change a tube on a Costa Rake rear wheel. But before we get into today's video, if you are new to my channel, make sure you head down below, hit that subscribe button for me. If you already are subscribed, make sure you hit that bell icon right next to that. That way you get notified every time I upload. That way you don't miss any awesome cycling content on this channel. So like I said, today we have the fat bike in front of me. And my fat bike is a little different than most bikes, and that's because it has a Costa Rake rear hub. So what we're going to be doing today, we're going to be swapping out the tube in this rear tire. And I'm going to show you guys how to do that on a bike with a Costa Brake. So it's a pretty simple process. You're going to need a couple tools. You're going to need a 15 millimeter wrench or a 15 millimeter socket. You're going to need a 10 millimeter wrench as well as a Phillips or a flathead screwdriver. And that should be everything you need to get your rear wheel off, get your tube swapped out, and get it back installed. So let's get you guys right up here to the bike start taking this rear wheel off here. So if we look at the rear wheel on a bike with the coaster brake, you'll notice that some of it's the same. Like obviously you have an axle here, pretty similar as a 15 millimeter nuts here you just gotta take off. Then you have this arm sticking up right here and it goes to some sort of strap or mount on the frame. Now, this is actually what activates the coaster brake inside. So as you pedal backwards, it pushes the pads inside the hub against the outside and actually slows the bike down. This is really the only complicated, but not really complicated, different part about doing a coaster brake is getting this off and then making sure your chain tension is tight at the end. So in my case, we have a 10 millimeter nut right on the back here. I'm gonna fill up set on this side and we're just gonna go ahead and crack that guy loose with our wrench. And once you crack that loose, you should be able to kind of reach around and you should just be able to unthread it. Let's see here if it's actually kind of loose. If it's not, then you're gonna have to go a little bit more. All right, so we just gotta go ahead and let's unscrew that all the way. And you don't wanna lose this or the strap that holds onto the frame. Because otherwise your coaster brake is not really gonna work. It's just gonna spin when you go backwards. So go ahead and save your screw and the nut here. We'll go ahead and put those off to the side. I'm actually gonna clean up the threads on this a little bit. But we'll set that off to the side right there. And as you can see, that is now loose. So there's nothing holding that right there. So from there, just like any other bike, you're just gonna go ahead and pop off your two 15 millimeter nuts on each side. Oh, right, there we go. All right, there's one of those guys loose. I'll pop off the other side. There we go, all right. Nice and popped off. And then what we're gonna do is gonna push the wheel forward in the dropouts. Pretty much all these bikes are gonna have horizontal dropouts. So they're gonna be horizontal here versus vertical or at an angle like a geared bike would be. So you're gonna slide that forward. That's gonna give you a bunch of slack in the chain and it should give you enough to pop your chain off of the rear sprocket there. And once that's off, you can leave it hanging there until we're back. And we just go ahead and pull the rear tire off from there. So once you have your tire off, same process as pretty much any other bike tire out there to get it off. So I'm gonna go ahead, open our valve up here, and we gotta let the air out. If you're dealing with the flat tire already, cool, you don't have to deal with getting the air out, it's already out. In my case, we're trying to match front and rear tubes up here, just have the same feel to them, because that's what I found on this bike is kind of weird. It doesn't, because it's a fat bike and it runs really low pressures, if the tubes don't match, they feel really weird while you're riding. So, at high pressures, don't really notice, but at low pressures, it, you notice it a lot. So, we're swapping these out so they're at least the same tube front and rear. And in some, some cases, you need tire levers. In case of these fat bike tires, you don't need them. They're, they come off pretty easy. But if you need tire levers, you can go ahead and pop your tire off from there. And once that's off, we just gotta pull our tube out of our tire. Pull that guy right out of there. Pull it out and there's our old tube right there and let's get our new tube prepped to go in. All right, so in my case, we got this new fat bike tube right here. So if you have a Presto album, it's a thin tube, which there aren't very many of those that have a coaster brake. You can actually blow it up by, you can actually just blow it up with your mouth right through the Presto valve. In this case, this tube is giant. So I don't wanna do that because it takes forever. So I got my little electric pump here. I'm gonna go ahead and screw that guy on there. And I'm just going to inflate this till it has at least a shape to it. Right now, as you can tell, it's kind of flat and wants to fold over on itself. So once it has a shape to it and kind of resembles a tube of some sort, we'll then stick it into the tire. That's to avoid any kind of pinch flats putting this together, especially with a fat tube. It's really easy to get this like this in the tire and then it will pinch and you get a flat. So we're going to fill this up and then I will show you guys kind of our next steps from there. All right, so now that we have our tube in the shape of a tube, it actually has a round shape to it and pull our wheel back over here. We're gonna find our valve stem hole. 
And in my case, since we're doing, we have Presta valves instead of Schrader valves, I have a washer. It's kind of just the perfect size to kind of keep the tube from poking out. So, we'll throw our washer on, put our valve in through there, and we're gonna go ahead and throw, push our tube all the way in to our tire, which should be pretty simple. And once we have that set, we'll pop our tire back on the bead, which again, for the fat bike, is probably one of the easiest things I've ever done. All right, just got that back on the bead, ready to go. We'll pull our valve stem out here, and we're gonna screw our little electric pump back on, because again, I these fat bikes take a lot of air, and I don't feel like filling it up all the way myself. We're gonna set this guy 7 PSI. That's what I have the front tire at. That's what I think I, that's what I kind of like riding it in the snow with. So, set that 7 PSI, and we're just gonna make sure that the bead seats all the way around here as we inflate this. Since there's a big tire on here, gotta kind of keep an eye on that. Even regular tires, you gotta make sure the bead seats all the way around. So, Let's get this pumped up and I'll catch up with you once it's all inflated. Okay, so now we've got the tube all installed, it's time to get the wheel all assembled back on the bike. So, one thing you want to make sure is this arm you want to keep underneath the frame. So, on this side of the frame, you don't want it in the middle, you want it right here because it's going to go through this loop right here. So, got that all set, we're going to go ahead and slide this guy in, watch our spacers. Get this slid in there just like that. There we go. And first thing I like to do is to get this bolt in for our arm here. That way it doesn't swing around. So, I'm gonna push our bolt right through there. We've got our nut for the back side. And we always like to do them hand, get them started by hand first. And of course, we don't want to tighten this guy all the way up right now because we're gonna move the wheel around some. So, now that we got that set, we got our chain over here. Just sure get out any of these kinks that are in it. There it goes. All right, I'm gonna feed it onto our front chain ring here. What the heck, come on, there it goes. All right, put it onto our front chain ring. I'm gonna bring it all the way back. There it goes, all right. And we'll get it fed onto our rear sprocket here. There we go, all right. There we go, that feels really good. Cool. We're gonna go ahead and tighten these guys down. And with the coaster brakes, you want these pretty friggin' tight. Ugh. Because you're putting a lot of strain on your rear axle when you use the brake. So, always make sure these are nice and tight, because if they're not, they will slide. All right, go look down the center. Looks nice and straight. So, chain, I don't wanna give it so it adds a little bit of wiggle. If, it's, if you can smack it, it shakes up and down too much, too loose. Right there, that's enough movement for me that I feel nice and happy with that. So that's about, what, maybe quarter inch? Quarter inch up and down? So that feels really solid to me. So let's finish up with our little coaster brake arm here. So we'll throw our wrench on there, throw our screwdriver here, and we're gonna go ahead and get that all tight in there. Make sure this guy is nice and snug. There we go, all right. That is perfect. And there you go, you have a brand new tube installed on your coaster brake and everything is all set, ready to keep on riding. All right, so that's how you go ahead and swap a new tube in your bike with a coaster brake. How you get that all set back up, removed, set back up, installed on there, ready for you to keep on riding. So hopefully you guys were able to learn something from this video. If you did, or at least found it entertaining, give this video a big thumbs up, appreciate the support. Any comments or questions, let me know down in the comment section below. Love talking to you guys, love answering any questions you guys have, and I will see you in the next video. Thanks for watching today.